In this video, we're going to show you how to crush the Cairn challenges in Assassin's Creed Valhalla by glitching them with either NPCs or items from Yan Lee's The Merchant in Ravensorp's quest. We'll also tell you why using oil jars may not be the easiest option in terms of glitching the rock stacking challenges in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel where we give you the secrets to crush Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So I think probably one of the most frustrating activities in all of Assassin's Creed Valhalla is the rock stacking challenges. They are uh, very time consuming. They can be very frustrating. You have to stack a bunch of rocks to a certain height, but they can be glitched so the reddit user ln404 used an oil jar which was reported in kotaku back in may to glitch one of the karen stacking challenges but i'm going to tell you that using oil jars is actually not a very effective method and it's probably a lot easier to actually stack the rocks properly than to get an oil jar there because the oil jars will blow up and they're also not very frequent in the world. What is more frequent uh, is NPCs. And so dead NPCs you can pick up and carry and you can stack rocks on them pretty easily. I think that doesn't give you as much height as an oil jar, but boy, it saves you a lot of time when the oil jars blow up. And anybody that uses oil jars to blow up rock walls instead of the incendiary powder trap will tell you that there's not enough oil jars when you need them. So especially near these cairns there's usually not a lot of oil jars close by. So there are four cairn challenges in Francia in the Siege of Paris DLC, a one in Melonius, one in Eminios, and two in Everson province, none in Paris. These tend to be in rural locations uh, on top of hills, except for the one on the beach in uh, Everson. But thus you may have a very long run uh, with your NPC or oil jars. Thankfully, NPCs are much more uh, prevalent. It's also easier to throw NPCs, so you can throw them onto the the cairn stacking rock. So there's a rock where you stack all the cairns on or the rocks on to create a cairn. It's easier to th throw the the bodies, the oil jars, because the oil jars will, will explode if you throw them. But the the NPCs, the dead NPCs, will not do anything as long as you don't put an explosive into them. And so I think this would also work in Ireland and Norway using the NPCs would probably work better if you're doing any cairn stacking challenges in those locations. And I don't know if there's one in Vinland, but Vinland too. Because NPCs are always there, they're plentiful and uh, easy to carry and easy to throw. But if you're in England, you can piggyback off this quest that nobody does because the quest markers don't, it do, doesn't uh, generate quest markers. So the items that, that are in the back of your merchant's shop, given that you've started your settlement at Ravensthorpe in England, those items are great. All of them are great for stacking uh, rocks and making your rock stacks higher because you want to get the whole point is to get over this uh, level. And so carrying those uh, to the, the Cairn locations that you find uh, will make your stacking much quicker. The only thing is that, it, that though you always have to go from Ravensthorpe to wherever those Cairns are. I recommend putting those items in a boat, in a, a little fishing boat. The key though is you can only have one item at a time because if you tr go back for the second item, it's gonna disappear out of and go back to behind the merchant's hut in Ravensthorpe. Then have Eivor row the boat, but use the follow the river command, right? And so with the follow the river command, you hit the button, uh, you hold the button, and then you have to confirm it. Um, I think it's X and Y on the Xbox and uh, square and triangle on the PS4, PS5. But 
and then it she just goes and even if it's like four kilometers away uh she'll make the whole trip now i recommend you you put your marker it's going to go to the marker that you set put your marker in the middle of the river not to the side of the river because boy that boat doesn't slow down and if it crashes you'll lose what's inside so the the weird thing about um your mer- your ravensthorpe merchants items that you're supposed to deliver is that if avor ever gets out of sight of them they will mysteriously appear back behind the merchant hunt back in ravensthorpe so if you crash your boat they'll be back in ravensthorpe uh, if you just set it down and walk away out of sight it'll be gone and back in ravensthorpe and that's why i was able to to glitch the cairn so the cairn is standing up on in midair because that item magically moved itself back to ravensthorpe that that green jar so I, I there's not a lot of items when you're thinking about it that you can avor can actually pick up right you know, I, I think really there's lootable items, but in terms of items that Eivor carries, there just aren't that many. I think another item possibly you could use in the Siege of Paris DLC is there are boxes which are used to cover up grates through which rats go through. So if you're able to get one of those boxes, then you could carry it to a Cairn location and that would make your rock stacking higher. Uh, but besides that, there's not a lot of items to glitch the rock stacking challenges in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I think an, another issue that you just have to worry about with all the carrying is that Eivor cannot climb while carrying. He or she may be able to jump up a, a large step or a large rock, but she can't climb. And so if, you're, if your route has you climbing there, it's not a it's not a good route so you have to find a gentler slope that avor maybe can jump up but not climb up but the flatter the route the better when you're glitching the cairn challenges so for the npcs uh you can either interact with the the rock stacking mechanism and avor will set down the npc and you may not necessarily set down the npc the way you want them to lay so they best stack the rocks or you can try throwing the npc in the direction just make sure you don't throw them off a cliff because they'll disappear (laughs) how do i know that and uh, so i like just setting them but it's not going to set them right the first time probably and i also like throwing them uh, and you're probably not going to throw them perfectly the first time either. Uh, the same thing is true of, of the jar, or if you use any of the other things uh, that are behind the Merchant and Raven Sorps shop, that you could throw them, but it's probably better to just interact. And that's also true for oil jars, but just be just know that when you interact, the oil jar will probably explode, but the items from the shop in Ravensthorpe, they'll probably be okay, but they may not set the way you want the first time, and you'll have to exit the rock stacking mechanism uh, to to reset them uh, with by interacting. Subscribe to the Linus Wilson channel, where we give you the secrets to crush Assassin's Creed Valhalla.